it was not on a 10-bit system like the H910. It was on an 8-bit system. So there were 256 steps between zero and full scale. So 256 steps, you know, your wave is gonna look a lot more, whatever, like a sine wave, than, uh, you know, one bit or two bits or four bits or whatever. But let's pause for a second and think about modern day audio. Modern day audio is, I mean, I would say it's typically 24 bits. So two to the power of 24. We're gonna need a calculator. That's a big number. 16,777,216 discrete steps between zero volts and full scale. Now, in the context of a digital system, full scale means your reference voltage. So, represented by a voltage, two to the power of, or yeah, two to the power of one, which is just on or off, you're gonna have, this is zero volts. And let's say our reference voltage is, um, let's say 10 volts, and then this is 10 volts, full scale. Now to the power of four would be, would be zero volts, this is 10 volts, and then these are discrete steps, uh, so it's gonna be, I guess, uh, 3.3 volts, 6.6 .6 volts, and then 10 volts. Are you getting that? And that, those are represented by binary numbers, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So as you can see, for a two to the power of eight system, if we have 256 discrete steps, then if we were to represent by a vo that by a voltage with our full scale being 256, and 256 in binary, um, mind you, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all a one. 256 in binary is 10 volts. And then uh, 128 in binary is that. But you can see that 10 volts divided by 256, that's how, number, that's how many discrete steps there are, so we need to have a component that can have the accuracy to output a voltage that is 1 256th of 10 volts. So now imagine we're talking about 24 bits. 